Hi partners today let us learn about production of food from plants so no more further ado let's get into the video before that don't forget to subscribe my channel hit the notification bell welcome to bioeducation what are crops the plants which are grown in large number to get useful food products are known as crops we are mainly dependent on agriculture for our foods most of our food products are obtained from plants now let us know what is agriculture the process of growing crops is called agriculture do you know how many days are required for getting these crops or which crops need more duration growth period for all the crops are same no each crop has its own particular time to grow Some crops like jowar, red gram takes a minimum of 180 days or more for harvesting. Such crops are called long term crops. Some crops like green gram, black gram takes 100 days for harvesting. Such crops are called short term crops. You know water is essential for growing crops. Generally in rainy seasons, pond wells are filled with water. Hence, farmer grows varieties of crops in this season. The crops which grow in rainy season are termed as drift crops. The crops that are grown only in winter season are generally called rabi example wheat maize the flowers will comes out from the plant after certain growth in some crops plant flowering initiate after growing certain branches nodes and after producing a few leaves flowering of plants also depends upon the duration of night time the effect of night duration in flowering plants differs from plant to plant In some plants when the night duration is shorter than 12 hours the flowering will be more so when we take an example of wheat plant flowering takes place only in short night durations as long as the nights are longer than 12 hours the wheat plant does not flower in addition to that temperature is also not sufficient to seed formation so this crops called short night duration plants hence these are also called as long day plants in plants like maize flowering will be more when the night duration is more than 12 hours these plants are called long night duration plants these are also called as short day plants in some plants like soya bean plant night duration is not at all reason for the flowering they can give flowers at any time during the year so these are called as day natural plants growing paddy and agriculture practices paddy is the prime most essential and important food crop worldwide in many countries rice is taken as food so it is also called as global grain paddy was cultivated in the late mesolithic period between 9000 to 8000 bc to obtain better yield farmers prepare a plan beforehand while they plan they take into account the nature of the soil humidity rainfall and temperature because they vary from time to time and place to place they cultivate the crops accordingly agriculture tasks sowing to storing the cultivation of paddy involves a series of activities now you will learn about the agriculture practice to be followed from time to time and their methods in general many crops are cultivated in same way but some crops need special methods they are preparing the soil sowing of seeds applying manure facilitated water that is irrigation weeding crop harvesting and storage of crops produced agriculture practices are carried out by either using manpower or through special tools as you can see in the above picture now let us know about these practices in detail firstly preparing the soil you know that supply of air and water to plants through roots is important for proper seed generation and for uniformly supply of water soil should be prepared well for this plugging and leveling are done plugging and applying manure farmers divide the field into plots then the nursery might be first covered with manure and then flooded flooding submerges the old weeds and stubbles which decomposes releasing nutrients and making a soft seed bed before growing crops 
Proper plugging of the soil is necessary. Plugging loosens the soil and it helps in easy transportation of air and water. Water is stored deeply for a long time as the soil is soft. Roots penetrate into the deep and can respire well as the air enters easily into the soil. Soil friendly microorganisms and earthworms can grow well when the soil is soft. In the above picture, this is the tool used for plugging. This is made up of iron and wood. The shape of this plug is T shaped. It is also used for weeding. At the end of the plug, you can see a sharp iron nail is attached which helps in penetrating the soil. Leveling the soil. The field has lots of ups and downs even after plugging. So, leveler is used for leveling the soil. By leveling the soil, water and nutrients can be reached to every part of the land. It helps also in sowing seeds and planting. Secondly, sowing the seeds. Sowing of seeds in the field is an important task. Farmers should take so many precautions before sowing the seeds. Production of crops is mainly depend on quality of seeds. Selection of seed is an important step in agriculture. Before sowing, farmers select good quality of seeds. The healthy seeds gives healthy crop. Seed crisis. In olden days, farmers used to select the seed from their own crops which are cultivated by themselves. Farmers in our state generally purchase seeds in nearby markets. The grains that are available in the packet plays a vital role in agriculture. Sometimes, the rate of germination of the seed is not up to the mark, which was labeled on the packet. Sometimes, they never germinate too. National Seed Development Corporation of India preserves and promotes different varieties of seeds. Selection of seeds free from pests and insects is also an important issue in agriculture. Sometimes, farmers wash seeds with chemicals to protect from pests. Medication is done to keep seeds away from the harmful microorganisms like bacteria, fungus, etc. So, generally farmers medicate seeds before making them to germinate. Now, let us continue types of seeding in part 2. If you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up.